last class we discussed about the inner current loop and the outer uh, speed loop. Then we have uh, formed the complete block diagram for the speed control system. Now here we are planning to design the controller. We will start with the inner current controller. So to start with again we will draw the block schematic. So this is our speed reference okay speed reference put it as nr okay this will speed feedback is there so from where we will take the speed back we will come to that one here this our speed controller so let us take our speed controller is a PN con uh, PA controller. So it will be KN into 1 plus TNS by TNS. Now this speed controller output will give the current reference because whenever there is a change in the speed, a mismatch in the speed that indicates to the uh, difference in the uh, driving torque and the load torque. So uh, correct driving torque has to be applied. So the driving torque uh, depends on the IA. So output of this one should be lead to the right current reference. So IA, IA reference. So here reference I will put a superscript here, IA reference. this IA reference will be compared with feedback. So this output is our current control. Let us take the uh, PA controller. We start with that one and then we will see whether this is the correct thing. So current controller I will put as KC into 1 plus TCS divided by TCS okay. Now comes the converter. So we have to model the converter same like uh, front end AC to DC converter. So we will come to that one. So converter this is our converter. Converter will give the correct VA our armature voltage. So we know the motor model now. So this minus the back EMF that is EB multiplied by 1 by RA one plus this armature time constant. This will give the motor current IA. So this IA is the one we have to feed back here. So this IA is actual motor current. We want a DC current because of the converter switching it has the ripple. So this ripple uh, we have to reduce it, eliminate it. Also we have to bring it to the controller level. So there is a gain and a filter, gain reduction. So K2 1 by T2S. So filter we are representing as a first order filter okay this we will give it here now this ia we have introduced the electromechanical time constant so ra by km machine parameter will give the driving torque md md minus here is our motor torque. This is MD here is our ML, ML into RA by KM square. This is our load torque. So difference in the driving torque minus uh, load torque 
into 1 by electromechanical time constant 1 by Tms will give our speed omega m, this is our omega mechanical speed. So, this mechanical speed, this is our output, this mechanical speed we have to bring down to the controller level and if it is a taco there is a filter will be there. So, this one more filter is required, first order filter 1 by T 1 s this we will give it here. This is our complete close, uh, closed loop uh, diagram. So, this is our omega. Now, how do you uh, represent our converter? See, let us take a three phase fully controlled converter. So, let us take for a three phase fully controlled converter for a typical firing angle alpha is equal to 60. If you see here, the ripple will be 6 times the fundamental frequency. So, ripple will be approximately something like this will happen part of the line line voltage 6 times it will happen. So, 6 times means this duration is 60 degree for a uh, uh, 360 degree this is 60 degree duration. So, 60 degree duration for a 50 hertz waveform this will be equal to 3.3 millisecond. Okay. Now, see if we have initiated a firing here the next firing happens here only. Okay. Now, so a change if you see a change in the converter firing angle happens at every 60 degree is not instantaneous that means a delay of 3.3 .3 millisecond. So, it can have a maximum delay of 3.3 uh, millisecond or minimum of 0 that depends on where the uh, demand for uh, change happens. So, let us take an average of 1 point 3.3 divided by 2 1.1 millisecond. That means, if a command is given after 1.1 millisecond a change is happening. This we can approximate as a first order lag. So, converter can be represent a delay with a gain. Why gain is required? Here we have the V A that is actual voltage. This is coming from the controller. So, this is the V A reference. This may be for the control action it may be plus or minus 10 volt and what is V A? So, let us take a 10 volt reference comes we want a, uh, if we if we use the cosine uh, firing with the linear control output maximum output voltage should happen. So, for a three phase converter what is the output voltage? 2 into 1.17 into ERMS into cos alpha. So, maximum voltage happens when alpha is equal to 0. So, this will give the maximum voltage ERMS. So, control 10 volts that means when V star is equal to 10 volt actual V should be equal to 2 into 1.17 ERMS. So, the gain will be this divided by 10, this is the gain. So, converter can be represented at a first order lag. How? We here we will do converter, we will uh, put us some gain, gain G, we will put us K T, converter will represent K T by 1 plus S T T, S T T, this is for the converter. So, this converter transfer function we can represent as, we can remove this one we can represent the converter as k t by 1 plus s t that is here k t by 1 plus 
yes t the t t is the, is the time constant 1.17 millisecond k t is the gain that is va maximum va divided by the control voltage whatever you use that is the gain now let us design our current loop first so that is current loop means this one To design this current loop, let us write down the transfer function now. G s by 1 plus G s, okay. Output is I a, input is I a reference and G s is equal to this. See here when you design there is a E b is there. So if for an applied voltage V a, if E b is there, the difference, the voltage here is as E b increases the voltage get reduced. So, we will design for the worst case design, worst case design is current is large when E b is equal to 0 that is starting we are applying the voltage. So, we will assume E b 0, then our transfer function the loop gain you know the open loop gain is k c into 1 plus s t s plus this one k t into 1 plus s t into 1 by r i by 1 plus t s and the h is equal to this one. So, if you take the transfer function, let us draw the input output relation, okay. Let us go to the next page now. So, our IAS, this is our feedback divided by IAS, this is our reference is equal to KC into 1 plus TCS divided by TCS into KT by 1 plus STT into 1 by RA by 1 plus TAS divided by this is our GS. Okay, 1 plus GSHS this, that is this will 1 plus again KC into 1 plus TCS divided by TCS KT by 1 plus STT into 1 by RA divided by 1 plus TAS then H, uh, HS that is K2 into K2 by 1 plus S T 2. This, this filter time constant, the moment we introduce a filter, it gives a delay. So, this delay or the time constant, okay, should be much, low, much, much lower than the larger time constant uh, in the loop. So, this is we are introducing. This means, this should not create any problem with the uh, converter otherwise uh, unnecessary delay will uh, happen here. So, this filter to remove the high frequency ripple due to the PWM action, okay. So, this will not uh, create any problem. Let us see what pre later we will take a typical example and try to solve the thing then we know it typical values of this one, okay. Now, here see we are using a PA controller here. In this PA controller, this T, uh, this TCS, one plus TCS, the time constant, because of the one plus, there's a pole introduced. Now, this pole, what we can do, this is in our control. TCS, we can choose it such that we. Uh, choose TCS such that one of the larger time, time constant here we can cancel this one. The water system can be reduced, response will be sealed faster. So, here which is the larger time constant? See, there is a converter delay is there, STT, but converter delay should be much, much smaller than the delay used to the armature time constant. So, the larger time constant has to be this one. So, let us make. T c is equal to T a. 
See, if the converter T uh, time constant, the delay in converter is much higher than the TA, the system will not work. Our controller has to be faster compared to any delay in the system, okay. So, TC is equal to TA. So, this and this we can cancel here. That means, TC is in our control if we keep it. Then, the final transfer function we can write it, we can simplify this one, this will be K C into 1 plus T C S into K T by R A into 1 plus T 2 S. So, this will be 1 plus T 2 S divided by T A S into 1 plus T T S into 1 plus T 2 S plus K C K T K 2 by R A. These are all constant. Okay. Let us make this one K C K T K 2 by R is equal to K 0. That means, K 0 is equal to K C K T K 2 divided by R A. So, this we can represent as K 0. So, this T A S I can bring it here. T A S is here. So, that I can bring it here. Numerator and denominator I can divide by T A S. So, if you do that one this will go. So, this will become yes and T A will come here, T A will come here also. So, K C K T T A by, so we will uh, K 2 will remove it. So, K C K T T A by R this is K 0. So, if you see this one, if you put this one that means this K C, this is K 0. Also, this is also K 0. Then the final transfer function will be that is final transfer function is equal to K 0 into 1 plus T 2 S. If you see here the moment introduce a filter it has given a 0. So, in the uh, response that can create an overshoot, but how to tackle that one we will come to that one now. This we can represent as S square sigma plus S plus K 2 K 0, where sigma is equal to T T plus T 2. Here what we did? T T plus T 2 Thus, this T 2, T T is the converter lag and T 2 is the uh, our filter uh, lag. These are smaller time constant. So, the products we can neglect here and T T plus the sum of this T T plus T 2 we can approximate as the sigma here. That is what we did here. Okay. From this one, how to design our control? So, this form let us bring it to the standard form and let like to uh, sort out the we will find out how to find out KC and TC. So, let us go to the next page now. See again we will write it our IAS feedback 
squared by AS reference is equal to K0 into 1 plus T2S divided by A square sigma plus S plus K2 K0. See, this again we can write it as K0 by sigma into 1 plus T2S divided by S square plus S by sigma plus K2 K0 by sigma. So, if you see the denominator, this one, this one is of the standard form, the response depends on the denominator, is of the form S square plus 2 theta omega n s, omega n is a natural free omega n square, okay. So, from this equating these two, what is omega? Omega is equal to root of k2 k0 by sigma, okay. And what is 2 theta omega n is equal to, from this one it is 1 by sigma, okay. So, from this one, the damping factor theta is equal to 1 by 2 sigma omega n. This is equal to 1 by 2 sigma into k2 k0 by sigma. Now, from the standard uh, control system to get a proper uh, response, this is a second order system. We know it theta is equal to 0 0.7 is a good will give a reasonably good uh, uh, response. This is equal to 1 by root 2. So, 1 by root 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into root of k2 k0 sigma. Okay. From this one, we can find out K0. Why K0? We have to bring up because K0 contain the uh, factor Kc. So, K0 is equal to 1 by 2 K2 sigma. Okay. So, this is equal to we substituting. This will be equal to Kc Kt. R A T A. See, T A we have already put is equal to T C. So, instead of T T A we can replace it by T C. Okay. So, from this one, we can find out K C substituting for sigma. So, the final K C already found out T C is equal to T A. So, T c we have already found out, T c we have found out T c is equal to T a. Now, what is from these two equations what is K c? K c will be equal to R a T a divided by 2 K t a2 into tt plus t2 so the transfer function if you see here this will give a second order uh, system with good response okay now let us go to a transfer function and modify putting this value and let us modify it 
So, let us go back to our voltage transfer function. If you see here, IAS reference by IAS sorry IAS feedback. So, the output is the output by input this is equal to K0 into 1 plus T 2 S divided by S square sigma plus S plus K 2 K 0. We want to put the value of K C and uh, T C and see how the response work here. Okay. So, here K C we know K 0 is equal to K C K T by R A T A this is equal to putting the value of K C now R A T A by 2 K T K 2 into T T plus T 2 into K T by R A T A. Here K T goes R A T A goes. So, finally, K 0 will be 1 by 2 K 2 sigma after the, our uh, PA controller selection. So, this if you put it here this will be of the form 1 by 2 k 2 sigma into 1 plus t 2 s divided by s square sigma plus s plus k 2 k 0 this one further simplification. So, on further simplification it will be equal to 1 by k 2 into 1 plus t 2 s divided by 1 plus 2 sigma s plus 2 sigma square s square. Now, there is a pole here, this can create overshoot during in, uh, during the starting any change in happens. So, it can get, create large overshoot. So, to avoid this one, this happened because of the delay introduced in our feedback. Now, this can be cancelled the same delay if you give to a reference also. That means, our reference is we are going to pass through the same filter that was filter with a time constant of 1 by T 2 s. Then what happens? Let us see. So, in our previous transfer function if you go there, so here at this point this 1 by T 2 s happens because of the our filter time ones we are smoothing the current. So, here if we put a filter with the time constant 1 by 1 plus T 2 s then we can cancel the effect of this one. Let us see how we can do it. See, let us write down the, let us go to the next page now. See, here IAS feedback divided by IAS reference. Now, IAS reference is passing through a filter. So, we have to, this also it would be 1 by 1 plus S 2 S. This is our new reference. We are putting a filter. This will be equal to our 1 by K 2 
into 1 plus S 2 S divided by 1 plus 2 sigma S plus 2 sigma square S square okay. So this will go here this and this will get cancelled. So final our transfer function will be 1 by K2 divided by 1 plus 2 sigma S plus 2 sigma square S square. So what is this mathematical manipulation means? See the feedback the moment you put a filter there is a delay in acquiring the signal coming to the control input due to the delay, uh, delay is due to the filter and it is equal to 1 by 1 S 2 S. So it has created a 0 here. Now the reference also if we delay with the same. So these delays are introduced by the filter which will not come into the dynamics of the current loop. The current loop dynamics is much much slower than this filter time constant or the current loop uh, time constant is much much higher than this filter time constant. So slightly delaying the reference will not affect that one. So we have put the filter, same filter we have put at the reference also. What happened? So the transfer function finally has come of the form like this. Now for a unit step input we can find out the inverse Laplace transform of this one and we can find out how the response will be. If you plot it, it will be like the response the unit step input will be of the form like this. So we want any change in the IA reference it should go, this is the our 100 percent it has to come here. So what happens this will response will go like this come here and come like this. So this is slowly okay sorry this is slightly large I have put this only around this much. This peak is around only a 4 percent 3 percent 4.3 percent that is this is around 4.3 percent slight overshoot will be there and this is if you take T this one this is around 4.7 sigma on the final settling time approximately this will be settling time will be 8.4 sigma this is a good response with the proper compensation okay. Now current loop we have designed. So what is the transfer function of the current loop finally 1 by k2 by 1 plus 2 s sigma s plus 2 s sigma square s square. This s square means the frequencies of operation compared to this one it come at the higher higher end and this current loop is inside a speed loop. So speed loop the frequencies of variation that bandwidth is, is much much below this one okay. So effect of this one can be neglected and this current control loop that is this it can be when we when we are going to inscribe this one into the uh, voltage control loop we can approximate this one by 1 plus k2 into 1 by 1 plus 2 sigma s because this current loop is coming inside a, a, sp a speed loop where the time constant of the uh, speed loop is much much higher than compared to the uh, current loop. Maybe current loop if you say around uh, millisecond there may be it can be around second the uh, speed loop. So this we can approximate 1 by k2 by 1 plus 2 sigma s or if you want to really simulate you can as well put this one also simulate. Uh, in the uh, come, uh, full system and see the response and if you put this one there will not be as the speed loop there will not be much change. But we have taken the exact uh, modeling of the current control uh, current control blocks to take care of the KCTC design. Once that is designed we can approximate this one with this one. Now let us take what is our speed loop with this one. So let us now go to our speed loop now.
speed control loop. Let us take our speed reference omega s reference that is our input ok. This we are comparing with our speed feedback we can use a taco or encoder whatever it is and this speed error we are giving to a controller. So, this is k n into 1 plus T n s divided by ok I will just increase this one T n s we are using a PA controller here let us see how to decide. So, as I told before any change in the speed any mismatch in the reference speed and feedback speed is due to a difference as mismatch in the driving torque and the load torque. So, load torque means the load torque or the when the acceleration or deceleration that uh, the required uh, torque required for acceleration or deceleration that is j into d omega by dt plus the load torque. So, that is the complete load torque we are uh, talking about depending on the load condition. So, any change in the speed reference that shows the driving torque and the load torque there is a mismatch in the live driving torque and the load torque. That means, we have to give the correct current value. So, this controller output as I told before this will give our current reference. So, this is our I A reference this we will give to the converter, converter we have model and the converter uh, and the current controller we have model to give the correct converter voltage and we got uh, tuned the KC TC and we got we, and we got the current response for a change in IA reference with respect to IA feedback. So, the final transfer function what we are using, we are using a first order lag also here, high frequency times we are neglecting. Sigma s, yes, this is the IAS. Now, again for the worst case design, this will this is our actual IAS. Multiplied by R i by K m divided by T m s. Yes, this is our omega yes. This again we are a gain change will be there to bring it to the controller level k 1 divided by 1 plus t 1 plus ok. If you see here this is this way. Now, let us say what is the transfer function input output. Omega s feedback divided by omega s reference g s by 1 plus g s h s. So, this will be k n by k 2 ok r a by k m then T m also T n into 1 by s or here 1 plus T n s is also there 1 by s into 1 by 1 plus 2 sigma s this 1 by s is due to this one there is one more s here 1 by s this is 1 by s 
this is Gs divided by GSHS that is again Kn Ra K2 Km Tm Tn into one by s one by one plus two sigma s again one by s then our filter here if you see here one plus k two is also there k one k one by one plus t one s multiplied by this 1 plus numerator. If you see here all this S multiplication, it will result in a fourth order system. So, that will be very difficult to compensate. So, let us take some engineering approximation. Here also this T n like before the pole 0 cancellation, let us decide this T n is equal to 2 sigma s that is a larger time constant. So, that means let us take a case T n is equal to 2 sigma then this one and this we can cancel here also this one and this one we can cancel then finally what will be the transfer function. Let us go to the next page and write it. Here if you see here this is equal to that is again omega s f divided by omega s r and we have put T c is equal T n is equal to our 2 sigma. So, this is of the form K n array by K 2 K m Tm, Tn, Tn is the ultra mechanical time constant, okay. Into 1 by S square divided by 1 plus Kn Ra by K2 Km Tm. Tn, we can bring the k1 also here, our filter gain, then the whole thing will be one by s square into one by one plus t1s. If you take this numerator to this side. then final transfer function will be let us write down the this is k n r a by k 2 k m t m t n. So, we are multiplying this denominator with 1 and the we are using this factor to multiply the numerator and the denominator ok. So, when you use this one here 1 plus T 1 s will come this will produce a see same like our current controller the delay here the delay has introduced a lead here. Now, K 2 K m T n K s this will go and in the denominator you will get a K 2 uh, see all these things will go. then the denominator will be K 2 K m T m T n into a square into 1 plus T 1 s plus K n R a 
see this also we can bring it to the 1 plus bring this one and 1 plus form we can give. but if you see here if we expand this a square into 1 plus t1s see let us expand a square into 1 plus t1s if you see it will come a square plus t1s cube and the a square is there S cube will be there, constant will be there because of the thing, that constant will be this S time will be missing. So, S time that will give the contain the damping factor theta. So, this will not give a stable response for any change in the input speed. So, we cannot use a pole 0 cancellation, we cannot use it. That means, this we cannot use it here. So, we have to retain the we have to retain the uh, TCS and we have to design the uh, controller in, a, uh, in, uh, in uh, we have to use some other approach not the pole 0 uh, consideration. See last uh, time when we study the front end AC to DC converter. So, without pole 0 how we can use the uh, cancellation for input output relation we said we used a uh, optimization technique ok where we want to adjust the TC and uh, KC such that. So, now with the TC and uh, with, with the PA controller if you write down the transfer function in this S time will be there. So, system gives a system is stable gives a good response. Now, we have to optimize it. So, optimize here what we want? We want the input out, output to follow for uh, any change in the input. Any change in the input means any free uh, for any frequency of variation of the input output should follow it as closely as possible. That means, the output the gain uh, of the output uh, modulus of the output uh, by the input should be 1 for large frequency of variation. We cannot have any frequency of variation. So, there is a limit that is called the bandwidth. So, for wide frequency of variation we should require that modulus should be unity. So, if we can achieve that one that is a uh, that way we can use it. Here we said the general uh, 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 we will re we will write that one now what we want here C1 that uh, we have uh, written in, in the context of uh, uh, our front end AC to DC converter what we want the gain if you take the gain versus frequency. So, we will put log omega here and the gain that is ratio of the modulus of the input output gain. So, if for any frequency of the input the output follow very as uh, output follow the input as closely as possible immediately it follows the gain will be 1. So, that frequency you want this for wide frequency of variation. So, that means bandwidth after some time it will fall down. So, you want to make it for wide frequencies of variation. So, that type of compensation that is we will use this called the modulus hugging optimization. This will use it here without going through the pole 0 cancellation. This will study in the next class the same way we will uh, we will look in whether the system is a second order or third order system because we have derived the conditions for second order and third order system. Then we see, uh, see this system and we will try to bring it to some uh, second order or third order with appropriate approximation then we apply the rule and see the bandwidth and then we will find out the transfer function based on that one then find the response ok. This we will study in the next class.